Hello and welcome to another exclusive review with me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 12 million minutes viewed on YouTube. We're the number one reviewer for theatre in the UK and Las Vegas. This week we're on the road with David Blaine, the 2019 tour. I'm always curious when a huge arena tour has zero reviews despite endless months of publicity. Being a gentleman, I asked the promoter for a ticket to see David Blaine and I was told the allocation is full. Unlike all other spineless critics these days, I'm happy to pay and therefore don't owe anyone any favours. David Blaine is not a magician. David is not a comedian. David is certainly not an illusionist. David doesn't wear makeup, do his hair or put on a flashy suit. He walks out to almost 3,000 people with zero energy and begins his show as if he's chatting in the kitchen to friends. I can't believe I'm writing this, but I found his anti-confidence and comfortability and contempt refreshing and enticing. Blaine has mastered the art of underselling everything. You'll either like it or leave, and he seemingly couldn't care less either way. That's enchanting. He clearly cares and works tirelessly to be not only relevant and current, but also local and present for every performance. His jigsaw trick may well be a magic principle piece, but to make it unique for each town is quite brilliant. Huge kudos for this effort that most would find unnecessary. I found Blaine's serenity utterly charming, despite his media enigma nonsense. He's clearly a sensationally talented, disciplined, dedicated and passionate underperformer. He's smart and gifted. David Blaine is a five-star special act, a vaudeville turn, who is totally content in his own bizarre world. Despite having the personality and showbiz energy of a root vegetable, he takes more risks, genuine risks, than any other magician I've ever seen. His stunts are insane and not magic. Ridiculously real. Whilst most pretend to be in controlled danger, he genuinely is, yet makes the least fuss and draws little attention to the physical endurance. This is intoxicating for an audience. At times, this is a freak show worthy of the greatest showman. You can feel that Circus has influenced his act tremendously. Is he magic or real? No, just a brilliant anti-entertainer who captivates through disinterest, despite breathtaking and great danger. I've made it clear over recent years that I believe Chris Angel has the best magic show in the world, probably in history. I still believe that. He's a 2019 magician's magician. Unparalleled how he sells his craft with such passion, precision, spectacle and energy. You could argue Chris and David are the two most relevant contemporary and brilliant magicians of their generation globally for today, yet they couldn't be more different. Whilst Chris is so cool and gives 100%, David appears not to give a fuck. Whilst Chris has more lights than Cirque du Soleil's eight productions put together in Vegas, David turns up with pin focus operator and a 4K screen. Whilst Chris has the most amazing, polished and brilliant illusions in history, Blaine could fit 90% of his show into his briefcase. At times he was stunning tonight, but there's no question it's a unique special act. In the last month I've endured the appalling lacklustre shambles of Copperfield and the inane ramblings of Penn and Teller, two of the most heralded magicians in the world quite appalling and in total contempt of their art and legacy. I guess years in Sin City has this effect on your creative soul. Meanwhile, Blaine is fresh, new, innovative, exciting, ludicrously brilliant at times. Act one is perfection. The most compelling parts of Blaine's almost 90 minute first half is the mind blowing risks he takes purely for entertainment purposes only. I won't give away his act, but it's at times gruesome and shocking unlike any mainstream magician in 2019. These are not tricks, more self-mutilation. Whilst most are still pretending to chop ladies in half and putting newspapers back together, Blaine is self-flagellating to his adoring congregation, literally. This is 50% entertainment, 50% insanity. Blaine is a five-star act. His tricks are brilliant. His card stuff is amazing. Act one is five-star for sure. However, why book a 16,000-seater arena when you're only using a corner of it with less than 3,000 people? This show would have been beautiful in a stunning theatre and so much more powerful. This isn't an arena show. It's an intimate evening with a magical god. Act two is a car crash theatrically. To spend half an hour watching the water torture live from prep to removal is just pointless, no matter how technically fantastic it is. Furthermore, his 20-minute awkward recovery was just sloppy and some of the dopiest waste of an audience's time I've ever seen. This resulted in a brilliant show and night fizzling out to a mad dash for the lose. Such a shame. 
It's almost as if the contempt for the art sabotaged his well-deserved standing ovation. David Blaine is ridiculously talented. He's willing to push the art beyond any comprehension. I'm so thrilled that I got to finally see him live. What a remarkable performer. Don't miss David Blaine live. He's one of the few keeping the art alive. Bravo. You've been listening to another review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 12 million minutes viewed on YouTube. You can check out all of our hundreds of interviews and reviews at www.celebrityradio.biz. Ta-da.